The Tommy Tippy Video Monitor with Movement Sensor Pad comes with all you need to see, hear and monitor your baby's movement while he or she sleeps. Before you first use the video monitor, unscrew the battery cover at the back of the parent unit. Insert the battery and refit the cover securely with a screwdriver. Then attach the power cord. Lift the aerial and plug it in at the mains. The parent unit must be charged for at least 10 hours before first use. The green light on the left will show the battery is charging. You are now ready to set up your monitor. Firstly, switch on the parent unit. The screen will indicate that it is not yet linked to the baby unit. Now take the baby unit, fit the power cord and plug it into the mains. Now switch on the baby unit and it will link up to the parent unit. The camera is located in the center of the baby unit and should be directed towards your baby's cot. The camera angle can be adjusted by tilting it downwards if required. At this stage the sensor pad is not connected and should remain switched off at the back of the baby unit. Now place the sensor pad in the center of your cot underneath the mattress. The cable should be fed through the base of the cot out of arm's reach of your baby connected to the baby unit. Once connected, the parent unit will alert you to switch on the sensor pad at the back of the baby unit. It is now important that you test the sensitivity of the sensor pad to eliminate the risk of false alarms. Begin by setting the pad at the medium sensitivity level which is the middle line on the back of the baby unit. Place your baby down on the mattress and watch over from the other side of the nursery. The alarm should not sound if it is detecting your baby's movement. But if the alarm does sound, then you should increase the sensitivity of your pad and retest. You now need to check that the monitor will alarm when your baby is not moving. And the best way to do this is to lift your baby from the cot Take a few steps away so that the pad does not detect your movements and wait 20 seconds. The monitor should then alarm and the parent unit will indicate that you should check your baby. When the unit alarms, switch off the sensor pad at the back of the baby unit. You must always reset this switch whenever the unit alarms. If the monitor does not alarm after 20 seconds, you should reduce the sensitivity to the lowest setting and retest checking that there is nothing causing movement interference. You may need to reposition your baby if she has moved too far away from the sensor pad. The baby should be placed at the bottom of the cot with the sensor pad in the middle. Once you have checked your baby and settled her down in the cot, remember to reset the monitor by switching back on the sensor pad switch at the back of the baby unit. Always take the parent unit with you whenever your baby is in the cot. Remember that because this monitor is a no-movement alarm system, you must firstly turn off the parent unit and then the baby unit whenever you take your baby out of the cot to prevent the alarm from sounding. 